In this problem, we're asked to calculate the line integral of the vector field f dot uh, dr around the closed curve c, where f is f of xyz is the vector field xyz, and c is the circle of radius 5 in the xz plane uh, around the origin, uh, oriented uh, from the positive x-axis to the positive z-axis. And we're going to do this by choosing an oriented uh, closed compact piecewise regular surface with boundary m, whose boundary, boundary m is the same as c. Then we're going to calculate the flux of the curl of f through uh, m, and then we're going to use uh, Stokes' theorem to say that this quantity is the same as this quantity. Uh, so first we need to pick our m, because uh, this is a circle, obviously the m we want to pick is going to be the disk in the xz plane of radius 5 around the or origin. Um, And of course, since uh, the since c in the xz plane is oriented clockwise when you look at it from the positive y direction, um, proper orientation direction is anti-clockwise. So the normal vector, the normal vector that coincides with the orientation of c for m, is going to be the negative y direction uh, unit normal vector. So our normal vector n vector is going to be zero minus one. 0, which is negative j. Uh, of course, uh, we could go on by defining a, um, by defining a parameterization for uh, m itself. This would probably be something in the form like uh, r of u v equals u cos v 0 u sine v, since it's in the xz plane, I multiply 5 since it's the disk of radius 5. However, we, it turns out we're not actually going to need to do this. Because uh, what we want to do is calculate the flux of the curl of f through, uh, through m. And in order to do this, we, we find the curl of f. Curl times f equals, this is the determinant or determinant-like uh, function, i, j, k, partial by partial x, partial by partial y, partial by partial z x, y, z. And if we look at this, the minors that are multiplied by each of the, uh, uh, each of the vectors in this determinant expression, uh, for example, this minor, uh, this is uh, partial z by partial y minus partial y by partial z. Both of these are going to be 0, uh, since z and y don't depend on each other. And x doesn't depend on z or y, and z and y don't depend on x. So all these partial derivatives are going to be zero because, in the evaluation of the determinant, the only uh, multiplication that does, the, the only multiplications between uh, elements next to each other that don't happen are the ones where they're right above, where they're in the same row or column. Uh, so this is equal to zero vector, and thus, no matter how we set up our parameterization of m, um, and no matter what the uh, the uh, preimage of it within the uh, domain of our, the, the domain R squared of the parameter, parameterization, the flux integral of the curl of F is always going to be zero. So write this. And we can invoke Stokes' theorem to say that this is the same as the uh, line integral of F around the closed curve C, which is the boundary of M. So we have that zero is equal to those, uh, zero is equal to that line integral. And so our final answer is zero.